sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. I just choked down chocolate chip cookies and grandpa's femur. Fem- fem- femur. Did we make money, mon- mon- money now? <laughs> no, we had to pay So them. this episode, it's just too slippery. I, I'm slicing everything. <laughs> Every time I swing my five iron, it goes up that guy's ass. <laughs> 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 Welcome to the Sad Dads Club Podcast. Here's your host, Jim and Boo. Sanitary and distanced. It's episode 80. Welcome to the Sad Dads Club Podcast. I'm the Lord Foo. And I'm Jim. And we are here for you. We're here for you. <laughs> we're really here for anybody. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you, if you're listening, we're here for you. Hey, you know. Yeah, so her uh, <clears throat> Venus is... Uh, banana bread recipe. Yeah, I don't know how old We're it just is. Hopping into it. Yeah, I don't know how old it is, but it's it's from the eighteen. The one that she's got is different from her first iteration. So she had and, a recipe. Yeah, and, and this then she one obtained this one right because we you know even as young parents you know bananas there's one of those things that you can just freeze those even when you don't consume them. Yeah, and they get brown. They're good for banana bread. Yeah. Uh, w- that's the best thing for him. Yeah. It, so it, uh, she's had them. Yeah. Had this recipe, and for whatever reason, someone pointed her to this new one that has sour cream in it, and it's absolutely fucking amaze balls. Hmm. Is it like probably an interwebs thing? Uh, yeah. Oh, I'm sure. I'm, well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where she got it. All right. But it's you know h- however it does whatever it does that makes it just seem more moist. Yeah. For longer, less bready. Uh, I make like a zucchini bread that's similar. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, you know, and I think the bread part of those recipes is it's like a chocolate chip cookie dough. It's like you start with the same basic dough, you add chocolate chip cookies. You could add whatever you want. Yeah. And some of those, I think that bread recipe, you just take out bananas and put in zucchini. Take wow. out zucchini, put in carrots, and you've got carrot bread or I have whatever. a zucchini bread recipe that I got <clears throat> from my my mom yeah which I think came from my grandmother yeah it's been around a while but I have no idea and I mean if it's different from other recipes or if it's similar I don't know uh, it's, it's dark though yeah zucchini, zucchini bread's one of those like heritage recipes that we have from on the Sarda side of the family yeah it's like a yeah, that's kind of what this you is. You know, and I'm not quite sure. It's like you would, you know, was there an abundance of zucchinis and you're just trying to change up the bread so you're mm. throwing carrots. Yeah. Zucchini, so it's more of a hearty bread. But it's sweet. I mean, it's sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I could eat my zucchini bread like I would eat a coffee cake, mm-hmm. like in the morning with a cup of coffee. Yeah. Or just, you know, slightly toast it with some butter. Like that it's got zucchini in it is almost like a, Afterthought, like yeah, you, know, you don't. I, don't care. I think the zucchini and the zucchini bread that we make, there's a crap ton that goes into there. But when it bakes, it's sort of like it just. You don't really notice yeah, it. Yeah, into you're the, not in the bread. You're it's not, not like you're biting a gourd. <laughs> no, you're <Yeah>. not <laughs> slicing up <laughs> chunks and like, oh, there was a big chunk of zucchini. Wow, it's shredded up and it yeah. bakes in and it yeah, like yeah. the moisture ends up in all the other stuff, so it sort of kind of almost yeah. goes away. Yeah, but. Uh, I mean, that's we're cooking a lot at home for yes. sure. Yeah, I'm out of chili, but it lasted yeah as much far as it should. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I got a week out of it, but now I'm like, what's next? <laughs> well, we did. We've been doing some new stuff. Like we did just like uh, we did baked tacos. So I did like crock pot chicken or no uh, pressure cooker chicken. Yeah, yeah with yeah. Uh, you just put like salsa in there and a packet of seasoning. Yeah. Like, just really easy frozen chicken that to those two things literally just put them in there turn it on 20 minutes the chicken's done shred it then take the tortillas get them uh like you know how you you moisten them or whatever yeah yeah steam them and then um put talk some dirty to them little Is that how you get your tortillas moist yeah oh yeah how you doing are you, are you a nasty flower girl want to hold hands all right um <laughs> But just a little cheese, and then some chicken, and then the other, and then a little bit more cheese. Yeah. 
fold them in half, make up a bunch of those, and then my wife and daughter did like beans, beans I was and, gonna say. Uh, uh, soy crumbles. Yeah. And then make a bunch of those and just throw them in the oven until until they're crispy. And man, they were so good. Is it a corn tortilla or a yeah. flour tortilla? Oh, corn always. Oh, okay. I mean, my wife loves flour, but these is there a good. reason you couldn't just make that on like a like you, why you baked it as opposed to toasting your and serving it almost like a taco truck, like just a warm, crispy. Um, it was just truck. a different way to try making yeah. them, and they were nice and crispy. How and long did they have to bake? I think they baked for maybe 20 minutes, and I was pretty diligent. Our oven's not big enough for two cookie sheets mm. to be on the same rack, so I was rotating them top and bottom and then flipping them so they were getting crispy. Yeah. They were crispy. They were hot. The cheese was insane. Mm. Oh, my God. So good. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. And then you can kind of peel them open, stuff whatever you want inside. Hot ones, hot sauce. Mm-hmm. Did yours Guacamole. come? Oh yeah, the we already cl- downed almost a whole bottle of it. Of already. the classics, yeah, the classic. We, have, we I got two bottles and one's almost gone. I mean, literally, that's how quick. Everyone loves that shit. It's good. Yeah, it's a good. Even the girls, uh, Melanie, Shan'll eat it sometimes if her it's heart like, burns. It's a, it's a good sauce. It's a very good. Yeah. My daughter, she's like putting it on breakfast stuff. Yeah, and anything really. It's awesome. Yeah. Venus made, let's see, what else did Venus made? Out of nowhere, she made like homemade pizza bagels for lunch oh. one day. Shannon did that. Yeah. Well, she didn't home make the bagels. Not, yeah, not homemade Shannon, bagels yeah. either. But, yeah. You like know, sauce. It's like usually she toast them and then put sauce and cheese and then bake them. Yeah. Again our then. normal home pizza thing is like the, we'll do like the bulbulies uh-huh. and then make a, you know, a five to six inch diameter mini pizza. Yeah. She went like knock off Totino's. Oh yeah. And like, you know, it was a lot of it. I'll be honest. We've gone through a lot of the pantry and it was like stuff we should, let's use this, yeah. you know, this has been here for a bit. Right. You know, it, it was like the, there was leftover pepperoni from something and use it before it goes, you know, a lot yeah. of stuff hasn't gone to waste, but you know, yeah, it's kind of crazy what it's making us do in our, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You made a joke the other day. It was like I think a side effect is being is having to paint. Uh huh. Like, you know, uh, everyone being locked in. Uh huh. Uh, there are a lot of people painting. Oh yeah. Like they were saying uh, that Home Depot was saying there's let they're letting too too many people are in the store at one time. Really? And now they're going to start limiting how many people can be in the store at a given time. So now you're going to have to wait in line. To get in the store. Oh. And, well, that's, that's and like places like Costco and, you know. That's not shocking because, you know, it's, we've seen some of the lines for. Well, you drive by our Costco and it's like a sea of cars. Is it? Oh, all the I time. I mean, I haven't gotten that. I haven't gone over there. I've gotten to Home Depot for paint. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Uh, but not that far over. Um, The last time. When was the last time I drove by there? It wasn't that long ago, but I was like, oh, I think I went for gas. I had to go get um, propane mm. and uh, ended up over there for gas somewhere. And was you just look over there and just like, look at all the people. No gatherings, but yet look at that. All the people. Parking lot is just stacked with people. Yeah. It's not like you can avoid people at Costco. It's packed full of people. Yeah. But it's just uh, where did I see someone else that they were uh, limiting people as they went in? I'm drawing a blank, but that's not the first time I've heard of it. But I also haven't seen it over at Home Depot yet. The other adjustment is um, we we were painting, so we needed another roller tray because we only had one. Right. And Chandler was using it for his room, so my daughter wants to paint her room too, so we got paint. Well, we didn't, we didn't have a roller. Uh we had trays, but no the like plastic liners. Oh yeah. But yeah. no uh actual tray. So we went to uh uh I think it was that night. I think that's where we went. We went to Walmart. Yeah. And it was like nine o'clock. Our Walmart is normally twenty four hours a day. And they were and it was closed. Oh. It closed at 8.30. It closes at 8.30. Wow. And I was like, I'm 
I require to be able to make these purchasings at whichever hour I choose, and yeah. this is foreign to me. We were <laughs> Shannon and I were making the joke like we go we like to go to Pismo Beach on vacation. And Pismo Beach, they roll up the sidewalks at seven, you know. Yeah. It yeah. feels like everything closes super early there. Yeah. And I'm like, they brought Pismo Beach to us. Yeah. Everything's closing early. It's so crazy. What's Pismo Beach? Are they closing at noon? Yeah. <laughs> you That's know so what I mean? Bizarre. It's weird. Have you not had uh what's groceries like for you? Rayleigh's did move to uh not uh, not having, not using our bags for bags. Oh. I think last week you said that your safe way was you bag your own. If or, you bring your own bags, they make you bag your own bags. Right, or you... Or you buy their bags. Their bags. Yeah. Uh, at the time, our Rayleigh's uh, had no problem bagging our groceries in our bags, and this was probably midweek. Uh-huh. S- Saturday? Saturday we went grocery shopping, uh, they were very cordial about it, but they just, they're like, you can bag your own, or uh, uh, they did not charge us for the bags. Oh, okay. So maybe Safeway's doing the same. Uh, I and I know. think it, because they also had an extra person there, that I think they would have preferred us to bag our groceries either way. Uh-huh. Uh, but they didn't charge us for the bags. Uh, and we had no problems either way. I mean, I would have bagged groceries. It's not beneath me or something. (laughs) Or I would have made Venus bag groceries. (laughs) Woman? Woman. (laughs) Woman. No. (laughs) Do they... Bake more banana bread and bag these fucking groceries. (laughs) Do they uh, have uh, sneeze guards up now? Yes. On all the check stands? They had those. Yeah, that's so weird. And we had a very... uh, A very, you know, I don't know. Sometimes you go into those places and it's like... I am the service person, and you are someone that is taking goods from me. And so it's a very sterile type of conversation. Like, how are you doing today? Yeah. Oh, very well. Ah, oh, yes. I my just day had is... this conversation with the last guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. kind of thing. Except this was it had a much more like uh, common thread. Like we we talked about the you know we talked about the virus. We talked about uh, the lady who was bagging the groceries. Uh, was of Asian descent, Mm -hmm. and she was talking about how uh, most customers are, you wouldn't even, there's nothing there. Uh, She's like, but there has been a handful that have like side-eyed her or made comments because of her heritage because the virus comes from China. What the fuck? And because she's of Asian descent, that that must mean it's it's her fault. And we had talked about uh, that. Oh my gosh! That uh, thing that happened in uh, Texas, I believe, some dude stabbed a uh, an Asian family, a two year old and a six year old, like a mother, a two year old and a six year old, and it was it was very weird. Because a I I knew about the article I knew about the instance but yeah. you know she you know, to have a very open conversation about that with like your <laughs> checker your checker <laughs> was like it was sort of surreal uh-huh. uh huh but it was it was also good to I don't know to make sure that you know she f- knew that you yeah, thought that was I'm fucked like, up that's too. bullshit yeah I'm, I'm, I'm like what the <laughs> we're on the same page yeah uh, we talked about the kids in school and how it's an, an adjustment and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, it just felt very familiar. Uh, it was very, um, I would say comforting. It, you know, the kind of you going to the grocery store, buying groceries. I don't know this person. I don't really, you know, and yeah. the the greetings are very just agnostic and, and sterile. Yeah. Uh, this felt like uh when I would go grocery shopping up in Grass Valley as a kid with my mom and dad. You knew everybody, and, and you knew the you knew the grocer. Yeah. They recognized you. Yeah, they didn't necessarily know where you lived, but the county was small enough, and the city was small enough that they knew you. Yeah, uh, this felt like that. Yeah. I think that's a little bit of a an awesome byproduct of this whole thing, and like so much craziness going on. It was mm-hmm. like people almost opened up a little bit more than they would otherwise. Yeah. Man, that's <clears throat> that's kind of fucked up. It is. I'm like, wh- wh- 
this that kind of messaging that's uh, that's out there. You mean you just flew here straight yeah. from Wuhan? And, and, yeah, and, and you're checking my shit out. Yeah, and she's like, I was born in Arkansas. Yeah, and, and it was just like, she's like, so I got this guy who's like, what are you doing here, bringing this shit in your country? <laughs> She's like, I was born in Arkansas. I'm more white than you are, dude. What are you from Canada? Yeah. I Fuck. mean, it's Christ say people are just amazing sometimes. I don't, I don't subscribe to that mentality. Let's ship them all off, like in World War Two. Yeah, or okay. whatever. Yeah. You know, what the fuck? I mean, we need some camps for these people. God damn it. Yeah. Down at the border, the brown ones, they, they come across the border. Yeah. The Asian ones bringing the virus. I mean, just uh, don't be an asshat. We're all just people trying to get through this. It's not even like, I mean, it would have happened any at any point. It can't, there's. I, I mean, it, it doesn't matter where it came from. No. N- regardless of where it came right. from we were woefully imp- unprepared for any of it yes as a nation as a state as a county yeah. as a local government here i saw los city. angeles is still having problems i i'll be perfectly honest i know it's probably difficult for melly in school and whatnot but yeah. she's better up here la is still having problems with people going to the fucking beaches and parks like i saw in new york yeah like get what are you doing you're only hurting it. Yeah. And California, by and large, is doing better. Yeah. I better just, than some. California, so Washington, it. in it's looking like the as far as the projections and numbers that we can see. <laughs> we're flattening the curve? We're doing better than most states because we went to the lockdowns earlier rather mm-hmm. than later. New York would be would have fared better if they'd have locked down as soon as we did. Now mm-hmm. the, you know you can't. App, it's apples and oranges because of probably mass transit is probably one of the larger things that sets Los Angeles apart from New York. But they waited too long. Well, the telling thing for me, which is something that you think about, but you don't really understand how it works <clears throat> was the um the cell phone data that the guy took did you did you see oh that yes the spider crawl yeah from the, oh so yeah it was all the people who were on the beach in florida yes and, and it was um so and it was multiple days it was like a the early like a week in early yeah. march yeah and then all those people that were like in that area on the beach in florida and then where they ended up and how many people they it was literally all over the country yeah and how many people they contact came in contact with with the mm-hmm. so it was like picking out all the cell phone it was like your gps yeah. pings and your however you sh- choose to share your data whether it's anonymous or not yeah i mean there's all kinds of privacy privacy fucking scary shit going on there and how they pulled that but yeah i mean that's pretty amazing <clears throat> it's it's scary to yeah. see and it's like, well, then you, you, know, you this see was that. going on. Well, you see that, and you understand how quickly this shit. That's why this shit goes that fast, right? It's like, well, and that, yeah. yeah and then you see how scary it is that it wasn't until today that New York, or New York, Florida, Florida locked down. Yeah, Pennsylvania also did today. I think there's another state. There was like three states that only just today went. I mean, about the only state I can see is where you're like. That's probably not a problem for them. Is like Wyoming. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what no I mean? one travels to Wyoming. <laughs> the, I mean, I think there's people that live there. I would, yeah, but you know what Jackson's Hole, fuck, yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, they could probably just do localized stuff. They brought them up. There's the a, the there is certainly a common denominator, and I'll let people do the math themselves. There is a common denominator Six. of the states that have opted, yeah, or are opted late or have not yet done any sort of mandated lockdowns. Mm-hmm. And given how, and what's scary about that is that us being as globalized as we are now to have some states getting a handle on it 
and then to say, all right, we're going to start, you know, opening the valve a little bit because we've got control, Mm -hmm. but you have a neighbor that has just been like, fuck it, go nuts, bro. (laughs) And like, no constraints at all. And now you, you get resurgences. Yeah. As long as there's a vaccine somewhere in there, I think that's, that becomes like, eh, oh, we're like a whatever. year and a half away from it. But sure. without it, it becomes like this hopscotch dance between you're hot, you're cold, you're hot, you're uh-huh. cold. It's like, well, the thing if it is, is if like you don't cool down so that you don't have people who are contagious, then you're never, you're just, it's whack a mole, man. It's like, right. you're just constantly chasing right. the thing. You know, some random family is just like, well, I heard the lockdown's come, or uh, exactly like um, I ran into. With some of my teammates who are in North Carolina. Uh-huh. Uh, North Carolina uh, last... Is that a real state? Yeah. For real? North Carolina? It is? Yeah, it's a small one. <laughs> okay. It, it's I way mean, back there. There's 50 of them. There's yeah. bound to be one I, or two I've a, never heard there's of. There's a couple extra that we don't really need or we could replace. <laughs> uh, they announced their stay-at-homes on Friday that would go into effect on Monday at 5. Mm. Now, I don't know about you, but if you were being told that on Friday, uh, you get a message that says, Monday, we're going to stop selling booze. Oh, yeah. What are you going to do all weekend? There's going to be a run. Yeah, there's going to be a run. If I tell you Monday that at 5 p.m. you have to stay in your house, what are you going to do all weekend? You're probably going to go out and see Grandma. You're probably going to go out, hang out with your buddies like, woo! Fucking Corona party, bro. One day before we have to stay home. Yeah, let's get one last party in. Lick me in the face. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Lick my butt. What? (laughs) No, that this this that's not how that works. It is this weekend. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Take it easy. Hug me on my anus with your face. Yeah. Give me pink eye. (laughs) What? Uh, what? That's hot. Yeah, the yeah. chicks dig that. Yeah, they're like, give hey, it to baby. me. Hey, baby. Hi. Want to give me pink eye? Yeah. <laughs> like, as long as it's not the Rona. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? I'll take pink eye. <laughs> Can I still get a script? I, I think I might be a little <laughs> concerned of a, any chick would be like, okay. Yeah. Your place or mine. Yeah. I'll come on over and get the pink eye. Oh, huh? I'll, I'll do it with your Chevy <laughs> baby out front. <laughs> In the back seat. Uh, you know, so it's like you're going to give these people heads up. What do you think is going to happen? Yeah. It, it oh, needs yeah. to be band aid. You're sorry you're locked down. I hope you bought groceries. You well, know, I mean, it's silly. Yeah. The groceries you can get, obviously. Well, they were saying, like, uh, it was interesting to hear, even on the news, that there was companies and businesses who were non essential businesses who were still like, hey, come on in. We're open. We're doing haircuts or you know yeah. like fucking whatever, and they're like, we've 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 we're now going from an informational kind of a thing to now we're going to start handing out fines to yeah. these. Yeah, I saw people. somebody did. Didn't was that you that was, posted that somebody that fine? no that oh that posted an me. article where someone someone did. Oh, I don't think it was me. I can't remember I where I, I saw it, it but like someone Google. someone one state has passed out fines mm. like a like a thousand dollar. Fine. I I want to say this was somewhere in the Bay Area, but I could be wrong. Mm, yeah, I could might, be wrong. Might be. Yeah. Yeah. But I just thought I was like, okay, now they're fucking. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, just come on. You know, it's just like sometimes I feel like most of the people are carrying the burden for a couple of fucking. You know. Uh, this number of dipshits that are out there that don't give a fuck about anybody else. Right. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm not going to I'm not going to like sugarcoat this cuz like we're having our own struggles at my house. I yes. mean, quite frankly, I mean, my daughter's home from college, my son already lives at home, so it's the four of us back in the same house. It's not a big house, so it's not like you have a lot of places to go. Yeah. And uh my son loves the datas. You guys know him as datas. He loves to sneak out, <laughs> go hang out with people, and come home. And it's like that's not going to fucking work because number one, yeah, my wife is hugely asthmatic, and this shit like attacks people with asthma hardcore. Yeah, yeah. and and so there have been 
some very harsh text messages like handle your shit son this is yeah yeah this is what the fuck are you doing kind of a thing yeah 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 um and then my daughter gets mad at my wife and i because he just does whatever the fuck he wants and he's 22 yeah it doesn't matter how much i say to him this is what you need to do he still does his own thing and i can't like restrain the the kid you know you what need i mean a parental lojack on his car <sighs> i know but it's his car you know what i mean yeah it's like having a room if you just had a roommate at your house because kind of that's where we're at uh, considering his age yeah it's just like hey, if you had a roommate living with you that just didn't give a shit and was doing whatever he wanted to do yeah but the thing of it is is like i feel like my daughter's anger with my wife and i is misdirected she should be pissed at him because he's the one doing it yeah and yeah. then she feels like she's being slighted like we just let him do whatever he, he wants and i'm like you have no idea what is being said to him. Yeah, do use some sisterly peer pressure. Try exactly. And, try and leverage out. Exactly. We've got him to kind of chill. Um, he's been a lot better. Um, so, I mean, <laughs> I say that, but then today he, like, took off and went, went somewhere and bought a big vinyl roll for his car because he wants to vinyl wrap the roof. Mm. Who the fuck did he see? I don't know. You know. Mm. How are the in-laws? Uh, they're doing good. I was talking to uh, Shanna's dad today on through text and basically told him, hey, if you need anything, yeah, yeah. like you feel like you don't want to leave or whatever, uh, let us know and we'll deliver some stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, he's still <laughs> getting out and going to Target and getting groceries and stuff mm, like that. But, mm. but he's going for senior time. Yes. You know. Yes, my dad did his grocery shopping during a senior time at yeah. one of the safe marts up there up the hill. Yeah. Uh, my sister did take him a care package. Yeah. So, you know, she's and I've been up there once to make sure he's he's good. Yeah. Uh and I think tomorrow we're actually going to do like a like a family Zoom thing oh, that's with funny. at least my sister and my brother and the and the twins and Kim. Uh-huh. Hashtag hi Kim. Uh if just for shits and giggles, just to yeah, just punch for, it through, just yeah. to see. You know what yeah. I mean, why the fuck not? Yeah, so it's like, and I don't know how Shanna's brother's doing, you know, but my I know my my little brother, hey, hashtag Hey Scott. Uh, he, I don't know. He, I think, I think he thinks it's all bullshit, kind of a thing. Oh. So I don't know. I haven't talked to him much, but uh, he wasn't too happy. He's he's upset because he can't. He he. <laughs> Mm-hmm. He drives for uh, Uber. Or, oh, uh, so he's a gig employee. Yeah, Uber or Lyft or yeah, and uh, he he got to a point where no one was, no one was hiring anybody. Right, and so he was like, oh, he's like, I kind of wish I would get it, and then they would just they would pay my. No, <laughs> and I'm like, you don't want that, man. Yeah, yeah, you don't want that. But anyway, so I don't know. But a lot of different strokes for a lot of different people, for sure. I mean, yeah. I'm able to like work from home right now, so that's helping, I guess. There's. Are you still trying to find a groove, or are you feeling as productive as you were if you were in the office? Um, you know, I th- kind of feel like sometimes I'm feeling like I'm more productive at certain points mm-hmm. um there is definitely there's a bit of distraction because oh, yeah because i don't have an, a segregated office like you do yeah so if i had that i'd probably be a little bit better off but i'm in a situation where the desk that we have is kind of like mixed in our family room and yeah. so um people are walking by or asking me questions or like today my daughter decided she was going to file for unemployment because she kind of got like we don't need you until all this shit blows over kind of thing right. and so she's like oh i'm gonna might as well fl- file for unemployment so she's doing that today and it's mm. like hey dad and i'm like mid you know email or fucking writing yeah, a yeah, bug yeah. or something like that yeah. and it's like yeah. and i'm doing this and i'm getting dad dad 
dead. And I'm like, fucking what? You, Child. I am working. I am Is there working. something I can help you with? Yeah. yeah. So there's a- Please there's, submit me a ticket yeah. and I will get it. <laughs> When I get it, first come first serve. I, I gotta set up my ticket server, yeah. but uh, I mean, there's a there's a bit of that, and so I've never really had much of that. I mean, other than just at the office when yeah, people yeah. come by, but yeah. it's totally different because it's all work related at the right. office. So adjusting to that sort of thing, and my wife's like very cool about it you know i don't want to bug you and it's like the only time you it would be even close is if i was like in a meeting maybe you should put pants on then shane because <laughs> i'm pretty bugged right now <laughs> yeah so i mean it's i mean I, that's the adjustment for me is and then the other part of it is not having my infrastructure um for the thing no oh, yeah 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 so it's sort of like instead of having everything set up where i can like click through and do software changes to things to get like things routed the way i want right now i'm like literally physically unplugging cable y like from a, cable you know like from, an operator yeah in old, uh, sk, sk, kind sk, of sk, sk. operator how can i connect you yeah. i'm like well i can't do that with this hardware so and then i'm running out of fucking power <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like i don't literally have enough power outlets to like power all this gear up mm-hmm. so it's like um, well, I like, don't need that right now. Let me unplug that and use its power, you yeah. know, kind of thing. And so there's a little, there's a bit of that. And so the, you know, but I, I feel like I'm getting a bunch of stuff done. And, you know, like today, for instance, there's a bunch of bugs that um, were have been that were supposed to be fixed that I got to go verify. Yeah, and I got a lot of that kind of stuff done. So I don't know. It's just different. You know, are you getting? See, this it'll be interesting to hear your response to this. Do you feel that you have more time though? Um, your home. Do you feel that you have more time? Now, that's an interesting question because I've been thinking about this. Mm-hmm. Because normally I get up at six o'clock and I shower, and then I drive a, almost an hour to work. Right, and I'm there about seven thirty. Okay. And then I work all day, and then I leave at four thirty, mm-hmm. and then I get home about five thirty. And no, it doesn't feel like I have more time. I'm just well, you know what it is is I get to sleep more. So instead of getting up at six, I'm just getting up right around seven thirty. Yeah, and then I'm getting to work or like right after that. Yeah. So like I don't know where that hour goes of my day end of the day commute because I'm like getting off work basically at the same time i'm like clocking out at like 4 30 kind of a thing yeah um so uh, i don't know like i don't know today we went for a walk right after i finished doing work stuff so i don't know venus sent me just sent me a thing yeah because we were talking about this before we came in here and she was saying that she'd seen an article that said that americans are buying a lot of booze right now and I'm like, send it to me because I'd be curious to know what the stats are. Well, that's funny because one of that's one of the things I noticed at the store was that all the stuff like toilet paper and the meats and all that shit within the bread and then the eggs, the, all that shit was completely picked over. And then you go around to the alcohol section and it was fully fucking stocked. Like I was like, well, people aren't spending a lot of money on booze because like the beer section and this section are completely Is full. yours, was yours... This is weird about ours. Ours has like end caps now. Like, so it's, there's like only one way in and one way out. It's not aisles anymore. On the booze? On the booze. So like, I think our booze aisle is one. Was this a coronavirus change or just a security I don't know. It thing? wasn't this way before the All event. <laughs> the uh, event. Uh and there is a sh- metric shit ton of white claw boxes. <laughs> oh God! That are like lining the two end caps of our main booze aisles, uh-huh. and you can only get into it one way. It, you could still buy whatever you want, whatever you want. And I was, I was just like, I wonder why they did that. It's like they're are people stealing stuff? Yeah. I mean, is I, have that no, gonna stop I have no idea. From but the, out so the, the, store? S- the stat says it's up twenty four percent. From the same time over last year. Well, that goes with the joke, right? Either we're going to come out of this as better chefs or better drunks. Better or, alcoholics. Or bigger, yeah, bigger yeah. bigger alcoholics, and maybe that's going to be. Yeah. I believe it because, you know, it's one of those things. That it's like a coping mechanism. You know, 
people people drink more. Yeah. And, and eat well, there's more. a lot of stress involved. And right. People drink when they're like, stressed. and then I, I thought about it as I was in passing because I've made her one of the painkillers, uh-huh. but it, you know, th- I think that was like last week. But there has been a couple of times where I was like, man, you know what? Fucking, I'm gonna I'm gonna go and hit make a drink with the aviation gin or something, and it's like, why well, I, I get. I, I'm both of the kids are at a place where they need help with being and it's Tuesday. Yeah. yeah, And it's Tuesday, (laughs) you know, and and Piper has math homework or something. And it's Uh like, well, I fucking, I can't, can't, I can't even fucking drink (laughs) because you know, my daughter's going to ask me a fucking physics or math question. (laughs) That's going to need some sort of quadratic formula thing. And I'm going to be like, Potato. Don't you think that the uh, answer that you provide would be nicely rounded with oh, yeah. <laughs> some drink? I don't know. You? Just put in four. <laughs> Zero? Yeah. Do you think about that? Maybe it's an uneven. Did you quadratify it? Yeah. Have you ever thought about square rooting it <laughs> with your face? Use the <laughs> Pythagorean theorem of booze. Yeah. Yeah. A whole shot of it. <laughs> yeah. Here, drink this before you answer your yeah. next five questions. Okay, let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. Before you ask that another question, drink this. Then, if you can guess right, then I can answer it. <laughs> I don't guarantee it's going to be right, but you have to drink it. I feel like this is an actual conversation. It should be. <laughs> I'm I'm highly contemplating the next time I get a physics question. I, I think here's the here's what you need to do. Are you going to be doing physics um, homework tonight? You are okay. Okay. I'm going to prepare. Now. Yeah, I'm preparing. <laughs> clink clink. Yeah, clink clink. clink. Glug glug. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I believe it. Mm. We've got. It's well, so we got the speaking of school stuff. I don't know if you saw. So we got the from the uh, let's see, the superintendent. Yes, the what's his name? Bob Tony Thurmond. Oh, yeah, state superintendent of public instruction. I was gonna say, yeah, Tony. it was the official thing due to the current safety concerns and needs for ongoing social distancing. It currently appears that our students will not be able to return to school campuses before the end of the school year. So they are essentially pulling the plug. Now, that's his. Well, that's the state has basically said it's up to the districts. Right. Our district will continue distance learning as far as. So ours has no intention that we've been told outside of May 1st, we are working on off, off of this. And that is since our district has been so proactive at moving towards uh, they're calling it distance learning, but I'm going to say Google Classroom or online learning. Yeah. Uh, I see no reason why our district would be like, oh, yeah, come on back after May 1st. There's a number of, of teachers and, and aides that Venus has talked to and knowing here, as well as Silverado, that the teachers at this point after May 1st would be just as concerned in being able to get kids back on track right before school is going to end. Yeah. Rather than say, okay, we've we've already hopped over to this. We're going to ride this out for the remainder of the year because well, I mean, our district has already pulled that trigger. Where do you start cuz they're all behind already? I mean, they're behind by weeks, right? Well, so do you ours is there would just be a segment of your education that you're just going to well, chunk I, out and, and now you're missing and then you're just starting where you should be starting like the lesson plan for x date is this i think that's the difference on? between the districts that probably haven't ramped up versus th- ours specifically yeah I, I don't think ours are behind i think we've maybe lost a couple of days and we might not be going as fast as if it was in class uh-huh. but Xander was doing all of the lesson plans that Silverado had right up until his spring break started. Piper has, I think, till Thursday or Friday, but she is still on lesson plans. I have nothing but positive stuff to say about the Silverado teachers. Like they, they sent a, specifically one is like, this is what our expectations are for the year. Like grades will be different but there will be participation and there will be something of some caliber 
every day. Your student will get something from me every day, even if it's just a, you're not skating today, I just need you to check in. Mm -hmm. uh, there will be something, so that way there's a there's a schedule, there's a pattern for them to, to grab onto. I'm like, that's, as a parent who's still not had time to give it everything that I need to give it to make sure that the kids have and are adhering to the schedule of whatever it is that they're getting from the teachers to make sure that they're fully equipped. If seeing one email from one teacher that says, this is what you can expect of me, parents, this is what you can expect from me as a teacher to your student. I'm like, thank God. Yeah. You know, it's just like, a way, at least I know that teacher is on the ball and I can I can divert attention to I can skip that subject. I know that they've got it. But I feel like there's a uh, teachers uh, and and I don't know if that's still tr the case but uh, it seems like you always run into teachers who are like old school, right? So they they yeah. don't roll with the change very well or they're so uh set in the in the in the way that they teach or yeah. whatever that they just can't um adhere to any sort of new yeah, like processes yeah, or yeah. whatever, and the the kids will suffer for that. That's yes, the bad I, part. I am sure. And like like I said, uh, we know some of the other districts that that border us, yeah. where uh, you know, like you said, uh, some of these are. It's up to the districts and how they've been handling it. Some districts have been like, "You're starting spring break early." Uh, some districts are like, "Eh," right? It's kind of yeah. hybrid uh, for those students. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's like those students certainly are either weeks behind and will continue to be behind. And you can only hope that uh, whatever this message is, their principals in, in those districts that have been like, well, I'm um, wait and see, you know, hands off, wait and see. Mm -hmm. And we'll make up the time. Uh, you can only hope that those teachers and those districts are like, Okay, well, now you're actually in spring break, and we need to fucking figure this shit out. Because yeah. no one, I would hope, no teacher wants to leave students, regardless of their capabilities with Zoom. <laughs> right. You know, or Google Classroom. Uh, you know, no teacher wants to ill-prepare their student. I know. was surprised, so when I was uh, taking the Cadillac in today drove by Bullshon, mm -hmm. the parking lot was full. And mm -hmm. I was like, what is going on? I'm looking around, and there is a line of people. And I'm like, what are they doing at the school? Like, this mm -hmm. is really strange. So later I asked my wife, and she said, oh, that's the ha the homework handout. Oh. Or the, the lesson plan handouts for the kids. Mm -hmm. So all the – which I thought was weird because now you're creating these situations where – we're supposed to be having social distancing, but hey, everybody come to the school. <laughs> were they and all, so they were all parked? Er, the parking lot was full oh, of cars oh, oh. and there was a line of people waiting to go get oh. their kids stuff. Yeah, that's probably not being handled right. No, but uh, it was interesting. I thought, I thought that, but I, then I also thought, well, that's cool because that means yes. that the, the teachers are involved in their still doing making something up stuff to yeah, yeah. send home for the kids. We went walking it lunch it was last week uh it was lunchtime here and i we did see that um silverado had a like a set of three teachers that were all equidistant from each other uh, -huh. uh and with a cart and they were doing the lunches for the kids that oh. that had uh you know uh, supplemental meals yeah for whatever their income problems were uh-huh uh, God damn, something like that just gave me like the yeah. feels. I'm like, fucking, everyone's getting wrecked. Uh -huh. And uh, there's at least some people that are making sure that kids get food. Right. I'm like, <clears throat> yeah, I know. Yeah. Now, I won't make a comment about the Escalades that were riding through there. Perhaps you should rethink your vehicle choice <laughs> and your payment <laughs> if you need <laughs> meal assistance. <laughs> Uh, but, I'm not going to go there. Yeah. I, I won't go that on that one. Yeah. I mean, I, there's things that I could say, but I'm because yeah. of things that I know. So what but. is it? How does Shan take this news as an, as an aid? 
Um, that's a good question. I haven't had a chance to talk to her. I've, I've been, you know, busy. Like I said, working. Been working, and then after work, we went on a walk, and then we kind of got separated because Melanie was playing with a <laughs> butterfly <laughs> oh, God. for real. And then uh, when we got home, I started working on, on the oven to replace the glow plug thing. Yeah, yeah. And then I came here. So I <clears throat> uh, haven't really had a chance to talk to her about it. Do you have any projects that you've been getting done, knocked down? At my house? Yeah. Outside oh, yeah. of the oven thing. Well, painting. Um, I mean, the weather's been working for us, so I've been outside. Workbench cleaning started last weekend, so I've knocked a bunch of shit out off of that. Yeah. Um, I can actually see part of the workbench. It's amazing. I have a... Um, like a vice mm-hmm. that I've had for years, and then I just pull the bench like cover. It's like wood cover, and I pull it out, and then I bolt it to that, and then I use it, and then I put the cover back. Yeah, I finally just put a hole in it and mounted it right to the cover. I mean, like, just all the stuff to, to like, see it. yeah, just all the stuff that, and like uh, the oven's been broken. Not the oven, but the the broiler mm-hmm. uh, hasn't worked in years. And finally, I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna order the part, and I had to replace. It took me like half an hour to replace that today. Um, yeah, like a, there's been a bunch of things happening. Oh, well, I, today even I, uh, um, I got a bag and put some white vinegar and like put it on the shower head. Oh yeah. To clean all the scaly shit off the shower yeah, yeah. head. Now it's working awesome. I mean, just weird, dumb shit Isn't like that. Weird. The, it's like, yeah, it doesn't seem like. I've probably put in more time outside, but that's probably just because of the weather and spring, and that's how I work now. But I think Venus has run into more, like almost her own honey do list, like with the painting and whatnot. Uh-huh. Uh, but yet, the time isn't necessarily any different. But yet, being having here is like, well, I've got nowhere else to go. I might as well start knocking out some stuff. Yeah. Uh, you're staring at all these things that have been right. looking at you for a while right. and you're like, like, I got nothing but time. I don't have to be anywhere. I don't right. have to take anybody anywhere. The only thing we really have to worry about is getting groceries. Yeah. You know? So and as long as it's not something that's, I mean, you, you had a part thing, but now if it's something that can be delivered, uh-huh. it's like, well, if 90% of this honeydew project or errand thing w- around the house was 90% uh, you know, sweat equity mm-hmm. and a 10% part, uh, I got nothing else to might as well can do it. Yeah. You know, that's kind of, it was like, I think I've what, seen a lot of those like things. I was like, well, I went into the garage and I started cleaning a thing. Cause yeah. why not? I, I had nothing else to do. Super irritated when I went to my workbench and I couldn't find what I was looking for, even though I know I have whatever it was I was looking for. Yeah. And then it was like, then I just literally went and grabbed a bucket and I started throwing shit away. I filled up three buckets worth of shit. <laughs> nice. I was like, I don't need this. You know, throw it yeah, in the yeah. trash. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like the oven was one of these things that I think uh, there was a cooking show on and they were talking about. I want to say it was Good Eats with Alton Brown. Oh, I love that show. I love that show. And uh, he was talking about using your broiler, and I was like, our fucking broiler has been broken for God fucking years, and I know it's the little ignition thing, and I'm like, finally, I like, I literally paused the TV and I went to the computer, Yeah, and I'm like, all right. Uh, what part is that do I need? Okay, can I find that on Amazon? Oh, cool. It's only 46 bucks. Gun, done. Yeah. It was there by, it was supposed to be here Wednesday. It came on Tuesday and installed it today. Yeah. Fucking A, and it works like a champ. I was so excited to have our broiler working. Oh, I, there's been was... so many times <laughs> I wanted to use the goddamn broiler and just doesn't work. Uh, we use ours all the time. I, yeah. I have a hard time. Not I, using I wouldn't it. be able to get very far. It was one of those things like, oh, the broiler doesn't work. You know what I think, too, is, is passively, you know, with three other people in the house more. Yeah. Like, I, I'll find my... Where I would normally, like, sit and probably play Destiny or or work on something, you know, Solo. digitally or, you know, Stanford, you know, in the house. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, you know, I'm usually pretty good about getting space to change the posture or something. Yeah. Now I'm like, yeah, I, I need to get 
out and do something, yeah. you know, even if it's just kind of just me staring at, at the sun or something, clipping a branch, you know, to yeah. not, to find my own space for a little bit. Yeah. You know, kind of thing. I think maybe tomorrow, instead of even waiting for the weekend, I'll probably mow the front yard. Yeah. And then we want to spend some time in the backyard and get the backyard cleaned up because it's pretty bad. And, uh, I don't know. I'm looking at that big dumb tree and I'm like, maybe I just get the big ladder out and get up in there chainsaw? and start chainsawing. Do you have a chainsaw? I have an electric chainsaw. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The thing of it is the wood on that tree is really hard, so it just chews through the chain. Mm. But, but you know what? I'm just like, I mean, why not? What else are you going to do? Yeah, what else am I going to do? <laughs> but I mean, I literally have another gallon of paint that I can paint like our bedroom with. Yeah. But I'm kind of over painting right now. It's been three. We did three rooms so far. We've done three rooms. Yeah. <laughs> the kitchen and both the kids' rooms have been painted now. And I'm just like, uh, I don't want to. Yeah. Paint, painting. Some painting I, need, I need a break. Daddy needs a break. Yeah. Let's do something different. Maybe we'll come back to it. Yeah. So. I see a lot of stuff when I go outside now. It's like, uh, like things. Oh, I should be. I could do that next. The sp- the weather we had after the rain, uh-huh. you know, I was caught up with like weeding between the stones in the patio. Yeah. And in the one week, I I lost a handle on it. Yeah. And so now I've filled up a garbage, a uh, green waste can that was picked up this week. I have already filled it again. Oh and my it's, gosh. that was, that pickup was Tuesday. That was yesterday. Oh, I man. filled it up last night, and I went fuck. <laughs> now I'm done for and two now, weeks. And now it's fu- now it's full. I, I think <laughs> Roseville allows you. To, Venus was saying that you can get you another, can another green waste can. Yeah, but it's like well, you, I think you can call them and have them do another pickup, but they'll charge you. Yes, I, yeah, I don't think it's free, but it might be uh, you know, it. I'm at the point where I'm like. Uh, I'm stuck. I, I need, yeah. you know, I, otherwise I end up making these fucking green waste piles. Right. And then, you know, then I'm, it's like fucking Frogger in my backyard with a wheelbarrow well, trying to dodge. Well, you can make piles, piles. piles of shit that fill up your can faster than you can, you know what I mean? Yeah. You just, con- if your can's con- constantly full, then it's ridiculous. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's that, you know. Yeah. We didn't have a full can. We were like maybe two-thirds or something. I suppose I could just start filling the back of the truck, but then it's like if I have to move anything, then I can't fucking... No, I got to get a couch or something. I can't do uh, that. Hold on. Um, uh, you want to put your couch on top of the weeds? Yeah. Um, those are dandelions. They're good. I heard you can eat those and the miner's lettuce. Fuck it. Now, the pat- you're saying that the patio, you got weeds growing up through it. Did you put sand underneath it? Yeah, but over time, oh. you know, grass and like taproot type of weeds will grow through the sand and the DG. And I don't... There's no good I solution. could probably... I mean, last year I just weed-eated it, uh-huh. right? And so, it, you know, I had like this you know, mohawk of a thing in the stones, and it looks... Round up. Cool. Right. But uh, the I see the dogs laying on the stones... And I'm like, I oh. don't. That's not good. You know, for and Jax, who I know has had like skin irritations uh-huh. in the past, I'm like I don't, I don't fucking want to deal with that. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. So I've just been the last you know, Sunday to today. Well, I didn't do anything today. You know, it's been I've just been pulling every yeah. a, organic in between the stones. It's hard work. Are you being careful about when you pull them to get the root? Yeah, I try and like, eh, there's some of them. Wiggle them out. Yeah. Oh, fucking, it's the taproot. The grass one comes out just normal. You're you're trying to be careful and they snap and you're like, fuck. Yeah. And I've got like, plus I've got my welding handyman gloves. (laughs) That's right. So it's, everything is like a ham fisted like attempt at like pulling it out. I had like a blister on the knuckle of my thumb because I was using it to pinch the weeds out. It was so fucking funny. (laughs) But you know, yeah, it's like, Hellboy trying to grab a dandelion. It's like, <laughs> it's fucking the worst. What, what possible. was that movie, uh, Swingers, where he's like, You're trying to get the girl with your bear claws? You know, remember that part? Oh, yeah. You're just a, you, just batting around. You, yeah. You got these claws. You don't know what to do with them. And you, yeah. you're trying to, uh, yeah. Yeah. So that's what you're doing. Yes. But with welding gloves and pulling weeds. But yeah, you know, I need another one, another can. That's what she said. 
a four loco. Ew, no, no one needs that shit. I've I've been eyeballing that just to like get. Oh, on. you don't even have you haven't drinking it yet. No. Oh, like I, I keep getting physics questions. <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe and something tells me after after one of the well, I've seen it. We know what happens. It's not going to be pretty. There's we, no physics homework being done. That we day. all want to know what black tastes like. Yeah, what's oh, okay. black? Yeah, is it licorice? Is it? Uh, well, there can't be homework on Friday, right? So, yeah, I'll do a Zoom thing and then we'll do re. <laughs> oh man, I got these books. We got FaceTime. Um, oh yeah, FaceTime. Yeah, but we, then we couldn't invite the, everybody else. Oh, true. I don't even have Zoom. Is that an app? Is it? Or is yeah, it, okay. it's like a teleconference thing. Really? What did you? We use, use Teams. Oh, Microsoft Teams. Yeah, it's a free to sign up thing. Hey, uh, I, that's the thing. I, I gotta, I gotta, I got something to complain beef. about. Why does every uh, developer? have to come up with their own emojis for everything isn't there a sub isn't there like a standard set of emojis yes why does everybody have their own emojis i mean it's not enough just to have emojis but microsoft teams also has to have oh. animated emojis oh, oh, and oh. they look like they're drawn by a three-year-old Oh really? They're terrible. It's a Teams. Is a I don't think I've used Teams. Well, it's part of the Office 360 suite. No. Oh. And there is a. It's you can do it in the browser, or they have a side like, like a its own client. app. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I have it on my phone. I have it on my computer, and uh, on my Mac. But it's just crazy because it's like what? I <laughs> there is a standard. Set. Does it have filters and funny hahas? Like turn yourself into a princess kind of shit. No, I don't. I haven't. Or Snapchat. Dealt, I haven't delved that close. It does have GIF searching and stuff, though. Does it? Yeah. Oh. Well, that's worth. I it. mean, it's like a business kind of thing. You could do like v- we're doing all of our meetings with it and stuff. Yeah. And it has a chat function. You can chat one on one with people, or it has like a group a whiteboard chat thing that you can like everybody can see, and you can like. Post questions to every so everybody can see. Jim, it. we see you drawing dick pics <laughs> on the uh, whiteboard again. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have to ban you from chat, sir. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I it's, thought I was. It's actually very useful um, because, especially now, you can just ping somebody on the side. Hey, man. Uh, yeah. You know, got a question. Um, but it's also one of those things where it's like, okay, I've got messages, I've got um, hangouts, <laughs> you know, yeah. like. I've gotten team teams now, and uh, what else is there? I gotta There's have a fucking Discord chat, and uh, uh, Snapchat and Snapchat and yeah. uh, <laughs> um, Evil Apples has got its own chat bullshit. <laughs> and, I mean, it, the list just can. Why do we need so many ways to communicate? <laughs> the one, well, yeah, the one person that comes up with the the end all be all of yeah, chat so apps, the encrypted end to end, and a unit. Adopting universal and emojis and emojis, and, you know, <laughs> and GIF searches. There you go, and GIF search. Uh, that 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 company would have the lock. Yeah, I don't think that's going to be the case. No, I think just think that everybody's just like, well, I, I don't d- know. Let's I just, just use the Facebook one. We should just develop it from the beginning up because yeah. nobody's doing this. It's like yeah. somebody already did part of that. Yeah. You don't have to go get a designer to make an emoji. We need an artist to do (laughs) in-house Teams emojis. I don't need an emoji where he's crying laughing. (laughs) Yeah. How about just the emoji itself? It doesn't have to be animated. I don't need your artistic twist on what the fucking eggplant looks like. (laughs) Okay? It's an eggplant. It's really small on my screen either way. (laughs) Yeah. you're, You're trying to say dick. I get it. Yeah. It's That's f- why you have the pear yeah. and the emo- and the eggplant together. <laughs> yeah. I get it. <laughs> we understand. Slap the cheeks, okay? I get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Leave the cherries out wow. of it. Yeah. Wow, your eggplant has three petals and that one only has two. Shit. <laughs> and that one wiggles. Yeah. Mm. Impressive. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. I had actually had the same conversation with one of our engineers today. Like, he sent me an emoji, and I was like, "Ooh, it's animated. How fancy!" And he's like, "Oh, 
He, he literally like wrote this diatribe about how lame that yeah. was. You're, you're clogging up my bandwidth with your fucking animated one. <laughs> yeah, That's like stupid. I'm like, isn't there a standard for this shit? Why are they writing their own? <laughs> why are they building their own animated emojis? The fuck. Anyway, yeah. that's my rant. Yeah, we're we're, at, we're, at, we're at time. Oh, good. Let's finish the uh, finish the show with Jim's rant about emojis. Emojis. I have a, a semi funny haha. All right. So it was a tweet. Is it semi hard to? No, it's floppy as you can see. <laughs> so this this is a lady who uh, she's an editor for some online publication. I can't remember what. And I don't have it here in front of me, but she's got a lot of followers. Okay, she's a high, high profile person. This this tweet has thirty nine thousand likes. I just think it's funny that you printed this out. I did because I didn't want to pull it up on this computer. I suppose I could have just had it. <laughs> I had You're it on. So funny. Uh, uh, well, that way I've got I've got it ready to go. Okay. Uh, so the tweet is: I don't know who needs to hear this. Every runner in America, in all caps. But it is your responsibility to give way wider detour around any pedestrian than six feet as you speed past them, huffing and panting. <laughs> oh, no. So, now I can tell you, as a runner, that this lady is not a runner. While I understand, so there's a an etiquette to running and sidewalks and whatnot, right? Yeah. So the cyclists give yield to walkers and runners. Runners should yield to walkers. There's uh, like a, right? Yeah. So I understand like as you're running, you're the droplets, right? The yeah. the virus, the droplets. If you're huffing and puffing and you're sick or you're a carrier, you don't want to be, you need to be cognizant that you shouldn't be sprinting right past walkers. Right. I get that. You mean you, you shouldn't be running by and like hitting them with right. your shoulder? And but- <laughs> it, the, of the ways that you could have written this, if you were a runner, be like, hey, runners, h- helpful reminder that some of us walkers, you as you come past, uh, you may want to try and think ahead because the heavy breathing is expelling yeah. further and farther, uh-huh. you know, more and farther. Yeah. And I would be like, oh, yeah, okay. But... As a runner, I can tell you that f- <laughs> fucking walkers nowadays could give two shits about running. This this doesn't predicate that the walker is actually paying attention or giving any fucks to how much they're actually taking of the sidewalk. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm fully supporting that runners need to not be asshats and heavy breathing as they run past people. You should always do your best to run around. <laughs> but if you're fucking walking your shih tzu and you're taking up a sh- shih tzu, so a loaf of bread or your little chihuahua therapy dog uh, or whatever, and you're taking up the four feet of fucking sidewalk uh-huh. while you listen to your beats or your AirPods or your whatever, completely oblivious to the world and your, the length of the width that your dog and their leash is taking up, then... You're not doing your best either to be aware that, hey, maybe I can move on to the grass because there's tons of cars coming and to force that runner into traffic would be stupid. Mm-hmm. So there's context. The She has a point. <laughs> yeah. She has a point. But it was poorly worded. But it was so poorly worded that all it did as a runner, it Is had me se- fired I up. was just fucking triggered so bad. Because like, you know what? Yeah. You know, the amount of times, you know. Wait, hold on. I think what this hap- what what this all this re- re- requires is a response, and it's two words. I, you know, and fuck I, you. I had something like worded up too, uh-huh. and I was like, I'm like, well, who the fuck is this chick? Yeah. Like, uh, and then I saw she had like uh, hundreds of thousands of followers, oh, and she was I I don't know if it was Daily Beast or something, and I went. Oh shit! Well, that's not a fucking hornet's nest I want to kick, you know. But the common sense says, "Hey, everyone needs to be more aware." A, yeah. there's more walkers, more walkers, more cyclists, more runners. the The frequency of you running into someone trying to get their exercise in yeah. is greater because of the 
context and time that we're in. Yeah. I get that. The etiquette as a runner, a runner should be aware of etiquette just as much as cyclers and, and walkers. But fucking as a walker, you're not you're not responsibility free. No. Pay attention. Yeah. Uh, and in some cases, you shouldn't expect that a runner is going to put himself in danger because he's breathing heavier and moving faster and you think that you should just, it should all be on them. Right. Like, pay attention yeah. more. Yeah, it goes both ways. It goes both ways. Absolutely. The etiquette says the runner should yield, but... It's okay if you fucking step off into the grass with your dog and their tripwire leash uh-huh. or your entire family and your one kid that's back there on the fucking training wheels that has no clue what's going on, but you're like, oh my God, Kim Kardashian's going to be on the view tomorrow <laughs> talking about social isolation. <laughs> fucking. No, I, I don't want, I will hit you and I will dodge your kid on the training wheels because I love your kid. Kid's well, cute. Today we ran into this situation on our walk where there was a dad and his son and the the kid was little and he had one of those bikes with no pedals like a trainer bike. Oh, yes. And the dad was on his bike and so the dad would pull the kid along but then the kid would let, you know, stop and then he would like like stop and then we were just walking. I'm walking at a pretty good clip and I'm catching up to him and like kind of passing him all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, I don't, this is weird because it's like this situation where we're supposed to keep our distance, but yet I am trying to like exercise here, but you're fucking with my shit, yeah. right? Because you keep stopping and slowing down and passing me, and yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really awkward, and like I wasn't sure what to do. It's like, well, I'm fa- if I'm like out here trying to like actually work out, like yeah. now you're fucking with my workout, and just because you your kid can't control where he's gonna be and he would stop and look at me and point at me and say like we got a vamanos or something and then take off and yeah, i'm yeah. like what the fuck man i'm just trying to walk yeah as a dad he needs to just go to the pace as his kid and draw <sighs> the fuck back similar kind of a thing though yeah but it, it was practically a dog on a leash yeah <laughs> dear runners i love you pay attention and do your best walkers same same. <laughs> Cyclist, come on. We all know you should be in the fucking road anyway. Yeah, that you have bike lanes. There is a dedicated bike lane. And if there's not, not the time, then you just got to pick it up and carry it. Yeah. I mean, we're now, see, the the runners have forced the drivers into that whole three, four foot thing, whatever it is. So yeah. they get it all. Yeah. We're fucking... Let's go. Yeah. Let's, I got wheels. So I'm good to go. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. There you go. I, I bailed you out. All right. Well, I hope uh, everybody's staying safe and uh, don't don't uh, be the guy that brings the shit home. Make someone sick. Yeah. Because... Keep your social distancing. Wash your hands. Uh, find a, a dedicated and good news source to make sure you're staying informed. Um, the state has a number of services. And be patient with your kids if you're homeschooling. Uh, everyone is under stress, uh, and we'll get through it. We will. Yeah. All right. We'll catch you next week. Have a good week. All right, bye. bye.